It's not a list frank. They don't have to do surgery on it. Um, still going to be a big recovery, um, but much less than what we anticipated, which is awesome news for him in the off season. He'll be good to go right away, so it won't be like last year. Um, really, I mean, there's that way outside chance, you know, late in the playoffs or something like that, but um, it's just an outside chance. We're not really real optimistic about that, but they didn't rule it out. Um, we, we've got to play that by year, kind of with our whole roster. I mean, our goal is to get to the playoffs, so we've got to make sure we do the best thing possible for that, and that is the issue with IR. And most likely, even if that did happen, he wouldn't be able to come back for, for that. So we'll see how these IR decisions play out over the next couple of weeks. Or yesterday, I think Adam reported 70 leagues potentially. Is that what you're hearing as well? Um, at best case scenario, I mean, not, not to play football seven to eight weeks, but to heal. That are fractured. I believe just one, but I don't. I don't dive into this as hard as you guys ask me. I know it's a serious injury that's most likely to keep him out for the year, and I know it was really good news that there was no ligament damage or anything, so he'll be fine once the broken foot heals. Should they tell you how many weeks to play football? Best case. No, no, that's they. They don't do stuff like that. You know, they just say how long it takes to heal, and then it usually takes a little bit more after that.